Okay, let's talk about pencil and not pen for math. So it's going to be a quick uh, little video, and um, you know, I would consider this a very good math tip um, or math habit, however you want to look at it. So the whole idea here is to give you every advantage to be the best you can at math. So that's what we're going to be talking about. I'll give you a couple um, uh, reasons or justification why uh you know, I believe pencil is definitely better for pen than math, so we'll get into that in just a moment. If you're new to my channel and you're looking for math help and you like the way I teach, I hope you uh, consider subscribing. Um, literally have hundreds and hundreds of videos posting all the time, so make sure you hit that bell notification to get my latest videos. And if you need um, full comprehensive math instruction, I offer uh, full math courses. I'll leave the link in the description of this video so you can check those out if you're interested so let's get into this pencil not pen for math now i'm gonna uh have a disclaimer right up right up for uh in the beginning of this video i oftentimes use pen for math i i like using sharpies um so you might be saying well what is you know you're talking about you use pen and you're telling me to use pencil well there's some differences here okay um I use pen, okay, uh, for my own, uh, let's say, my own kind of brainstorming when I'm doing math, kind of practicing math. I don't have to turn, you know, uh, my math work into any person. I just kind of like to use my pen because I like the feel of it better than some pencils, uh, you know, that I have, mechanical pencils, number two pencils, etc. However, when you're a student, okay, when you're a student and you're learning math, you're doing math homework, you're taking tests or whatnot, you definitely need to use a pencil, okay? Not to say that you don't like pen, maybe like I do. You might like the feel of it and you're like, oh, I like pen, you use pen, how oh, come I can't use pen? Because pencil offers a lot of obvious advantages that pens don't, okay? The number one main thing with pencil is what? You can erase, right? So you have an eraser. And so you have your little pencil here and you have an eraser. Now, here's our little eraser right here. You want to, you're going to be making mistakes when you're, when you're um, learning math, okay? You're going to be writing out steps, writing out steps. Oh, I made an error here. So you should be erasing that error. So let me give you a quick example here. Um, let's say you have 2x minus 7 plus 8x equals 6. Let's have some sort of basic equation. And here, if you don't know how to do this, the first thing you have to do is the distributive property. So this would be 2 times x. So let's say you did that 2x. Instead of going 2 times 7, which would be a minus 14, let's say you inadvertently go minus 7 plus 8x equals 6. And then you continue the problem on. And you're like, okay, this is a 2x and and uh, 8x, that's going to be 10x minus 7 equals 6. So you, everything is good. From this step to this step, that's good. However, you made an error from here to here. This right here should have been 14, but it's a 7. Okay, so that makes everything wrong from that point below. Okay, for where you made the error, everything be beneath it is incorrect. So the quicker you can stop and catch yourself, okay, while you're um, showing your work nice and neatly and you could cor correct an error, that's going to be good. Now, if you're using pen, let's imagine this is pen. Of course, I'm using my fancy tablet uh, PC here, so that doesn't really count, right? You're not going to be having a piece of paper with this kind of, you know, uh, um, features like I have here on this computer. But what you can do... Okay, if you have a pencil, you can simply erase this nice and neat and put in the correct answer. Here's what too many students do that use pen, all right? They'll go like, oh, they have no options, okay? Your only option here is to kind of rewrite the work, or you can kind of scribble this out and you put a 14 like that in, okay? So if you're one of these people who kind of scribble things out and do something like that, that's terrible habit, okay, from so many different reasons. One, your teacher is going to be highly annoyed by seeing this because they don't, they're trying to read your work. It would be like you having a sentence like, the dog uh, um, went to the back 
backyard. Okay, I'm just kind of just doing it. It's like, oh, no, not the backyard. Um, he went to the park, right? Whoops, I kind of lost that for a second. And so if you're using pen, and then you're just writing this out, and you go, oh, I wanted to really say park, that's how your sentence would look. I mean, how would, you know, when you turn it into your teacher, if you're writing some basic essay, that's going to be highly annoying. It's no different than uh, in mathematics, okay? Remember, math is a language. It's meant to be read. So you need to present your work in a nice, neat, clear fashion. Now, that's obviously the one of the biggest um, uh, reasons to use pencil, okay? Now, I would say uh, even when you're taking notes and whatnot, you still want to use pencil because you're going to be making errors. Just get used to using it. Um, also, most exams that you're going to be taking um, are going to be in pencil, standardized test. You know, oftentimes if they're multiple choice, you'll probably have to use a number two pencil of some sort. So you definitely use pencil, not pen. Now, I really started using pen for math when I started Oh, and I used a lot of pencils, well, mechanical pencils and stuff. And then I kind of use math, uh, use pencil for myself personally. A lot of my professors, and when I was getting my degree in mathematics, would use pen. But believe me, their work was very precise because that's all they do. They're very controlled, nice and neat. And some of them even had a uh, erasable pen. So you might be thinking, well, can I just get an erasable pen? Uh, I get, I'll leave that up to you. Okay, I don't suggest it because even with the erasable pen, it does leave a little bit of what was there before. But if you can find a good one and it does have that erasable feature, you know, I guess that, that uh, that'd be your call. Right. But the bottom line is this. You need to be able to erase and keep your work nice and neat. And you do not want to get get in the habit of, of, of scribbling out your work like this. That's a terrible habit. Your teacher's not going to appreciate it. They're not going to be able to read your work and you're not going to be... Uh, uh, given uh, full partial credit if you earned it on a particular exam. Okay, believe what I tell you. And also, too, um, uh, some of your teachers may even have it as a standard that pencil is a requirement, not pen. Okay, they definitely won't have it where pen is a requirement, not pencil. All right, so give pencil a shot. There's all types of pencils out there, mechanical pencils with uh, different leads and um, strengths. What I've also seen... Just a real quick thing on mechanical pencils is if the lead is very, very thin it, it and you have a tendency to write kind of sharp, you can kind of break it. So I don't know if I would go with a too sharp. I'm, I'm trying to think of the sizes right now. I want to say like 0.05. I want to 0.05. I think it's millimeter. You have to uh, double check me on this. But you'll know that there's one that's very, like, very sharp. And it's, sometimes it's almost too sharp. Sometimes it goes like you can kind of cut into your paper with it. I think I used to uh, use 0.7 or 0.07. You'll see it. The one with the 7 on there, to me, was a pretty good compromise. It, you had a nice, pretty sharp uh, font, uh, but it was still pretty strong uh, in it as well. So all this stuff takes practice being neat and organized, but it is, it is, it's important. Okay. So it's like, ah, oh, this is just a little math tip and yeah, I can do it or not do it. No, really put all the things in your advantage when you're learning math. Okay. Once you, if you get a PhD in math and you're a math professor or a statistician or an actuary, and you want to be like, use your fancy ballpoint pen to do your mathematics, that's a whole different ball game. There's a lot of people out there that use pens that are you know, engineers and et cetera like that. I probably would use one as well, but I would also have mechanical pencils. You can kind of use both. But for students, use pencil. All right, so that's my little tip for today. Um, so let's go and call that a wrap. Again, if you're uh, a math student or you're just uh, learning about math for whatever reason um, and you like my teaching style, please consider subscribing. Um, you know, I'm really trying to... Uh, generate a lot of videos of, of value been on YouTube for many years um, and uh, you know it's it's a passion of mine so always trying to think of new things that I can share with you of course if you enjoyed this uh, little video I would appreciate a thumbs up and if you are looking for full course instruction and you like my teaching style I'll leave a link again in the description of this video um, you can check out all the courses I offer and then leave me some feedback you know, let me know what your experiences are. Hey, pen versus, you know, give me your counter argument. No, I use pen. You know, I hate pencil, etc. Hey, any feedback is good feedback. And, um, you know, it gets me thinking about, oh, maybe I didn't think about 
that particular point about something. But uh, with that being said, I definitely appreciate your time. I hope you got some value out of this video and have a great day.